हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो आज हम स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं विद एक्सरसाइज 1.4 ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन विच इज लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल फॉर क्लास टेंथ स्टूडेंट्स सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड हाउ टू सॉल्व टू लीनियर इक्वेशन यूजिंग एलिमिनेशन मेथड एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व देम यूजिंग ग्राफिकल मेथड एज वेल एज क्रेमर्स रूल सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी what is our next method so if if in case if you have not uh, seen the earlier videos you can check in my playlist section of my youtube channel and you can go through those videos so this is 1.1 which was covered in first video lecture of this chapter then second exercise 1.2 this was covered in second video lecture and the third one which is kramer's rule this was covered in the third part of the video lecture so if you keep on practicing regularly so you should not face any problem during your examination time and you will remember everything thoroughly <clears throat> yeah so this is the exercise 1.3 which we have covered in third part of this chapter now let's move ahead let us see what is what we have in exercise 1.4 so we have to solve this four simultaneous equation so not much sums are there there is only four sums but when you look at this sum you will uh, find something different like something which you have not seen so far okay so this is now this you can solve using kramer's rule using graphical rule graphical method or elimination method but we'll solve this using elimination method but this is a bit different than our earlier exercise so let us start with sum number 1 we will cover all the four sums over here all these four sums because all are different from one another so let's start we are solving exercise 1.4 sum number 1 okay so the first sum says 2 upon x minus 3 upon y 2 upon x minus 3 upon y so this is 2 upon x minus 3 upon y is equal to 15 and we have another equation 8 upon x plus 5 upon y is equal to 77 so once we start this sum it should be pretty easy for solving this sum but before starting i would like you to understand few things which is very crucial while solving this exercise so if you compare equation 1 and 2 so if you compare this equation with the second equation what you find common in both the equation is the denominator part so if you see the x x part the first variable so the denominator is upon x denominator is upon x so if you see the second part denominator is y denominator is y so both the denominator are same so what we can do over here is we will substitute or let 1 upon x is equal to m we will replace this x 1 upon x by m and 1 upon y by n so what equation we will get is m m because this this is 2 into 1 upon x so this will become m so m will go in the numerator along with 2 and this will be minus n is equal to 15 so this will be our equation number 1 okay similar way we will have to do with the second equation so that will be 8m
plus 5 n is equal to 77 so this is your second equation now we have to solve these two equation equation number one and two using the elimination method okay so we can do one thing we can make the coefficient of n same so to do that i will have to multiply equation number one by five sorry this will be minus sign is equal to 15 so this will be 5 to that 15 15 15 15 15 15 into 5 is 75 so this will be your equation number 3 now what we'll have to do with equation number 2 is apply to multiply equation number 2 by 3 which is coefficient of n in first equation so this will be 8 3 is a 24 m 5 3 is a 15 n and 77 into 3 so this will be 231 so this will be your equation number 4 now equation number 3 and 4 you need to solve using addition because we have a plus sign over here and we have a minus sign over here so we can directly add equation number 3 and 4 okay so that will be you have to write adding equation number 3 and 4 10m minus 15n is equal to 7f75 and then 24m plus 15n is equal to 231 we are adding these two equations so this will get cancelled so this 10 and 24 this is addition so this will be 34m and this will be 6 0 and 3 okay so when we send 34 on the right hand side so that will come to the denominator so we can simply see where does 306 lie in the table of 34 8 3 is at 24 8 3 is at 24 25 26 so we are running short so we will see 9s are 9 4s are 36 9 3 is at 27 28 29 30 correct so this is 306 so this will be 1s are 9s are so the value of m is 9 now okay so now let's find out the uh, value of n first we can use equation number 4 which is or we can use any equation 1 2 3 4 yeah we can use any equation 1 2 3 4 so I'm using equation number 4 which is this one so this will be 24 into 9 m into 9 okay plus 15 n is equal to 231 so 24 into 9 9 for the is 36 9 to the 18 19 20 21 okay so this will be 216 is equal to 231 so this 15 n when this 216 goes on the right hand side so this will become negative four five and this will be one and this cancel so this will be 15 this is the calculation part so the answer of this will be 15 15 n and when this 15 go on the right hand side that will get divided and this will be 1 okay so now we got the uh, value of m and n which is 9 and 1 m is equal to 9 and n is equal to 1 but remember one thing students we need to find value of x because what is what variable is given in, in the question is x and y so we need to find value of x and y so what is the m relation between m and x so that is 1 upon x is equal to m 1 upon y is equal to n so we need to substitute value of m over here so 1 upon x is equal to m 1 upon y is equal to n so 1 upon x is equal to 9 1 upon y is equal to 1 so what i'll do i'll do the reciprocal on both the side so this x will go in the numerator 
this 9 will come in the denominator this one will go on the numerator side so this is my value of x 1 upon 9 and the similar way this is 1 1 upon 1 is 1 so there is no issue so the value of y is 1 so your solution to the equation is 1 upon 9 comma 1 this is your value of x and this is your value of y that's it nothing else you need to find the common thing between the two equation for variable x and y then you need to f replace it with any alphabet you can use c d or whatever you want a b i have used m and n and then we need to find the value of this two variable now and then after finding the value of this two variable just substitute that value in this portion that's it so that's how you get the answer so this is your solution to sum number one so let's move on to sum number two which is 10 upon x plus y plus 2 upon x minus y is equal to 4 so this is your first part so okay so let's write this second equation also 15 upon x plus y so we will be able to compare both the equation minus 5 divided by x minus y is equal to minus 2 so if you compare so you can see this x plus y is same in both the equation this x minus y is same in both the equations so what you have to do is let 1 upon x plus y is equal to m and let 1 upon x minus y is equal to n okay so what will be your equation then 10m plus 2n is equal to 4 this will be your first equation and what will be your second equation 15m minus 5n is equal to minus 2 this will be your second equation okay now similar way we need to make one coefficient same so let's do one thing let's make n same so what we need to do is we need to multiply equation number 1 by 5 so this will be 50m 5 to the 10n 5 for the 20 okay now this will be your equation number 3 now let's multiply equation number 2 by 2 coefficient of n of equation number 1 15 to the 30 m 5 to the 10 n 2 to the 4 this is minus so this will be your equation number 4 now if you see your n is negative over here n is positive over here so you need to simply add equation number 3 and 4 this will be 50 plus 30 is 80 m is equal to 16 20 minus 4 is 16 and positive 16 okay sorry this is positive so this will be 60 80 will get divided over here 16 ones are 16 fives are so the value of m is 1 upon 5 okay now let's find out the value of n so let's substitute this in equation number 3 which is this equation so which is 50 m plus 10 n is equal to 20 which is 50 into 1 upon 5 plus 10 into n is equal to 20 so if you solve this you will get 10 over here so this will be 5 ones are 10 za. so the answer is 10 over here so this is 10 plus 10 n is equal to 20 now you need to send this 10 on the right hand side so that will be 20 minus 10 which will be 10 and this is 10 n and 10 divided by 10 is 1 
okay so now you have we have got the value of mn n which is 1 upon 5 and n value is 1 <coughs> Okay, now as we have seen in earlier sum, we need to find the value of x and y, not m and n. Okay, so let's resubstitute the value of m and n in these two equation: one upon x plus y and one upon x minus y. So one upon x plus y is equal to m. One upon x minus y is equal to n. So with that is 1 upon x plus y m is 1 upon 5 1 upon x minus y is equal to 1 so again we need to do the reciprocal both the side so this will become x plus y is equal to 5 this will become m minus x minus y is equal to 1 now you cannot solve this directly again you need to solve this equation using the elimination method so if you see here is here it is y plus and y you can name this as equation number five name this as equation number six now you need to add equation number five and six okay so that will be x plus y is equal to five x minus y is equal to one so that will be two x is equal to 5 plus 1 6 and x is equal to 6 divided by 2 which is 3 okay so you have got the value of x now you can substitute this value is in any of this equation and you will get the value of y say for example I am substituting it in the equation number 5 so the value of x is 3 so 3 will come over here we need to find value of y so th when 3 this go over here this will become negative and the value of y will come to 2 so the solution to your equation number 2 is 3 comma 2 meaning the value of x is 3 and the value of y is 2 I hope you have got this now let's move on to sum number 3 So the sum number 3 says 27 upon x minus 2 so that will come over here 27 divided by x minus 2 plus 31 divided by y plus 3 is equal to 85 <coughs> now the next equation is 31 divided by x minus 2 plus 27 divided by y plus 3 is equal to 89 so let's use the same method but before doing that let's compare both the equation and see whether the uh, terms are same denominator terms are same so we can see x minus 2 over here x minus 2 over here y plus 3 over here y plus 3 over here so we can go ahead with this so let's let's take 1 upon x minus 2 is equal to m and 1 upon y plus 3 is equal to n so our revised equation would be 27 m plus 31 n is equal to 85 and 31 m plus 27 n is equal to 89 so this is my equation number one and this is my equation number two okay so now what now if you remember this uh, exercise 1.1 the last two sum you just compare the coefficient of m and n the equation 1 coefficient of m is equal to coefficient of n of equation 2 and similar way the other other way coefficient of m and n so in this case what we had did what we did is we have add, first added both the equation 
and we have arrived at a new equation we have found out a new equation and then we have subtracted both the equation and find out another new equation which is equation number four so let's first find out equation number three so which will be 27 m plus 31 n is equal to 85 then 31 m plus 27 n is equal to 89 and that will be m this will be plus 7 plus 1 is 8 and this will be 5 this will be 58 n 9 plus 5 is 14 16 17 okay i hope you have got this got up till now we have we have we have simply added the numbers that's it now if we see in the table of 58 if we see three za eight three za okay let's do that later on let's first write the equation so if you see 58 58 and let us check whether this is also uh, there in table of 58 so eight threes are 24 5 3 is a 15 16 17 so yes 3 is a we have 174 so we can divide this by 58 58 58 58 ones are ones are ones are ones are ones are and 3 is a so you have a new equation m plus n is equal to 3 so this is your equation number 3 i hope you have got this now let's uh, subtract the first two equation which is 27 m plus 31 n is equal to 85 then 31 m plus 27 n is equal to 89 i have simply wrote the equation and now we will change the sign after doing the subtraction so this is plus this will become minus 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 so now plus minus is minus let's do minus 31 minus 27 is 4 m and the bigger number is 31 so this will be minus 31 minus 27 is 4 and the bigger number is 31 with positive sign so this will be plus 4 and 85 minus 89 is minus 4 and bigger number sign which is 89 so the equation we have got is this one and all this number is divisible by 4 so we can divide this by 4 so this will be minus m plus n is equal to minus 1 because this will also get cancelled for onesa onesa and now this is your equation number 4 okay now let us compare this with equation number 3 yeah so we have plus m over here we have minus m over here this is plus so we can directly add equation number 3 and 4 m plus n is 3 which is We can directly add this will get subtracted this will be 2n n plus n is 2n this is coefficient is 1 both the place and 3 minus 1 is 2 so this will be n is equal to 2 by 2 which will be 1 okay now let's find the find out the value of m in using equation number 3 which is m plus n is equal to 3 so we have the value of n 1 this one will come over here and become negative so this will be m is equal to 2 so we have value of m as 2 and value of n as 1 okay but we need not find value of m and n we need to find value of x and y and we are doing this sum number 3 yeah we are doing this sum number three so what we have taken as m is that is one upon x minus two and one upon y plus three which is this x minus one upon x minus two and one upon y plus three okay so let's take that one upon x minus 2 is m and 1 upon y plus 3 is n 
so let's solve this now so this 1 upon x minus 2 is equal to 2 1 upon y plus 3 is equal to 1 so now what we can do is we can again do the reciprocal so this will be x minus 2 is equal to 1 upon 2 y plus 3 is equal to 1 okay now what we can do is uh, we can do the cross multiplication that this 2 will get multiplied by this this one will get multiplied by this when this 2 get multiplied so this will get multiplied by both x and 2 so this will be 2 into x minus 2 is equal to 1 into 1 I hope you have got this we are multiplying this denominator by this numerator and this denominator by this numerator so now we are getting 2x minus 2 2 is a 4 1 1 is a 1 this 4 will go on the right hand side so that will become positive so this will be 5 this 2 will come over here and it will get divided so this will be 5 upon 2 no need to uh, find out the value in point okay so now you have got the value of x now let us find out the value of y so y is equal to 1 3 will go over here and it will become negative and y is equal to this is plus plus minus minus we need to do minus 3 minus 1 is 2 and sign of bigger number which is 3 which is negative so the value of y is negative 2 that's it your sum ends over here this was sum number 3 now let's move on to sum number 4 which is 1 upon 3x plus 5 plus 1 upon 3x minus 5 is equal to 3 upon 4 then next we have 1 upon okay let's write this down because this is a bit different 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3x plus 5 okay have a look at this sum carefully 1 upon 2 3x minus 5 y is equal to minus 1 upon 8 so if we see this two equation only this portion of the denominator is equal correct 3x plus 5 3x plus 5 3x minus 5 y 3x minus y so we'll have to do this sum very carefully so let's write 3x plus y is equal to m and 1 upon 3x minus y is equal to n now let's rewrite the equation so that will be 1 m so this m will go in place of this 3x plus 5 okay plus 1 n 3x minus y we will replace with n is equal to 3 upon 4 this is your equation number 1 so up till now no issue as it is what we have done till now now 1 upon 2 and in place of this 1 upon 3x plus 5 we need to write m over here minus this minus is coming from here then 1 1 upon 3x minus y we need to write n and this 2 will come as it is as a denominator and this will be minus 1 upon 8 so this is your equation number 2 i hope you have got this concentrate you need to understand this you only need to replace m in place of only 1 upon 3x plus 5 and 1 upon 3x minus 5 this divided by 2 this divided by 2 will come as it is in equation number 2 okay so the first equation let's rewrite it again so that is m plus n is equal to 3 upon 4 we can further solve this the denominator over here is nothing so that means it is 1 so we will again cross multiply this 
so that will be 4 into m plus n is equal to 3 into 1 so your equation will be 4m plus 4n so this will get multiplied by both is equal to 3 ones are 3 so this is your equation number 3 you can say now let's frame the same equation for equation number 2 which is m upon 2 minus n upon 2 is equal to minus 1 upon 8 so the denominator is same over here so you can write it once and this numerator you can solve minus 1 upon 8 now we can do one thing we can uh, send 2 over here so this will be minus 1 into 2 divided by 8 so this will be 1 za 4 za so now you have m minus n is equal to minus 1 upon 4 4 you can send it over here similar way what we did above 4 m minus n is equal to minus 1 into 1 so this will be 4 m minus 4 n is equal to minus 1 so this will be your equation number 4 correct now let's compare equation number 3 and 4 4m plus 4n and 4m minus 4n so now we can add equation number 3 and 4 which is 4m plus 4n is 3 and equation number 4 is 4m minus 4n is equal to minus 1 this will get cancelled 4m plus 4m you will get 8m is equal to 2 correct 3 minus 1 is 2 and m you will get as 2 upon 8 so that will be 1 upon 4 now let's uh, substitute this in equation number 3 or 4 whichever you like let's do it in equation number 4 because it has a minus sign and it can help us to make our calculation stronger so 4 into 1 upon 4 minus 4 n is equal to minus 1 so this will get cancelled 4 ones are ones are so this is basically 1 this is 4 n is equal to minus 1 now we will send this one on the right hand side 4 n so this is already plus so we this will go over here and become minus so minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 and this is minus 4 n this minus minus will get cancelled so this will be 4 n is equal to 2 so n will be 2 divided by 4 which will be 1 upon 2 so the value of n is 1 upon 2 over here and the value of m we have got is 1 upon 4 okay now let's see what we have taken as m so let's take it directly from the question so that was 1 upon 3x plus 5 m we have got as 1 upon 4 okay so 1 upon 3x plus y is equal to 1 upon 4 this was m correct and 1 upon 3x minus y 1 upon 3x minus y is equal to 1 upon 2 so again we will do the reciprocal on for both this equation so that will be 3x plus y is equal to 4 and this will be 3x minus y is equal to 2 so now you see you have plus over here you have minus over here you can so you can name this as equation number 5 this is equation number 6 so you can add equation number 5 and 6 so now you will get 4 3x minus y is equal to 2 this will get cancelled this will be 6x this will be 6 4 plus 2 is 6 and so and x would be 6 this 6 will get divided over here and then you will get the value of x as 1 now you can put this value is any in any one of the equation so let's put it in equation number 6 so 3 into 1 the value of x is 1 minus y is equal to 2 so 3 1s are 3 minus y is equal to 2 
minus y two this three will go over here and become minus so minus y is equal to this is two plus minus minus three minus two is one sign of bigger number which is three which is minus 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 will get cancelled and y is equal to one so the value of y is also one and the value of x is also one over here so we have solved this four sum and frankly speaking this uh, these are not so easy sums so i would recommend you to practice this again and again do practice this as much as you can and keep watching reading in your free time and i am saying this again do prepare a study timetable and go by that timetable then only you will be able to cover the entire portion as well as you will have sufficient time to revise okay so practice this and we will be back with our next video on next exercise very soon so till then if you have not subscribed do subscribe our channel and watch our other videos also and also recommend it to your friends so till our next video take care bye bye